Gana Mampenya be the tree doctor Baumia, Edin Semer two, Jana Sansa Sona, Kane Mampeni, John Germani Mahama, and Sosaba Be Casa, or Tredia Gana, Bain Akunya, or Teso, and a Jubilee House, no Honomun Yaka Koyem, ye be a Bosremo Cansem, a Cosopan, and some are working in Nasa Gana Mampenya, so ye, be America Crenin, Simbia, yet Teflu Mubano, and Yadia no Kuribia. Franka tu ni ema ndisi ya manyu kuhu John Dramani Mahama igu suwa wabu ntua ya wapa isi mantemu nwa diya tuja se ensembi ya wakaye efa mantemu hufura waba abete ya ewu mboko enhu ono enyari ya sene ni eje mkura wachirimua uhuni se sansi mamafu wa kekano ewe kwa inya wapese wadenta wanta wa ebe to wano ene mamprugu fuo entemu Yesterday I went to Boko Nabash Palace and he spoke about the issue of carving out another region to encompass the six constituencies in this area. And I explained that there were constitutional processes that needed to be gone through, and that the criteria was one, economic viability, two, land size, three, population. And aside from that, a petition must be presented, a commission of inquiry must be set up to look at the feasibility of creating a region. In the evening, I saw a fake news story misrepresenting completely what I said and trying to put me against the Mamprugu state. I never mentioned Mamprugu yesterday at all. I was just comparing land size and region and economic viability and all that. The president condemned misinformation and he used the Ajapadia document as an example of misinformation. But probably what the president doesn't know is that his office, the Flagstaff House, is the headquarters of misinformation. That is where the fake stories misrepresent what people have said and feed it into the social media. His own headquarters, uh, office is the headquarters where they do that. And so he should clean his house first before he talks about misinformation in other places.